If we are to fulfill the Great Commission, we must get to the core of the unreached. They reside in the 1040 window. 1040 window refers to those regions located in the Eastern Hemisphere between 10 and 40 degrees latitude north of the equator. This is a general area with the highest level of socioeconomic challenges and the least access to the gospel and Christian resources on the planet. This area is also called the resistant belt. Countries comprising the 1040 window have at least 50% of their land mass within the window. Northern Nigeria is in the 1040 window. The Fulani are the largest unreached pastoral people group in the world, estimated at 15 to 20 million. The Kanuri are yet to be reached. According to Nazarene Missions International, 4.1 billion out of about 6.6 .6 billion people on earth live in the 1040 window, two thirds of the world's population, and 95% of them have not been evangelized. An estimated 1.6 billion have not heard the gospel even once. In the 1040 window are some important considerations. First, the historical and biblical significance. Second, the dominance of three major religious blocks. Third, the least evangelized countries. Fourth, the stronghold of Satan. Fifth, the unreached people groups and cities. Sixth, the preponderance of the poor. The first and most important reason why Christians must focus their attention on the 1040 window is because of the biblical and historic significance. Adam and Eve were placed by God in the heart of what is now the 1040 window. God's plan was for them to subdue and dominate. It was in the 1040 window man tried to establish dominion without God in building the Tower of Babel in what is now Iraq. We certainly see a history of defiance and rebellion against God in this area. God raised Abraham from the 1040 window and through him birthed a nation and ultimately by Christ reached the world. It was in the 1040 window that Christ was born, lived and died sacrificially for our redemption and rose again. The birth of the Christian church first took place in the 1040 window, along with the first gentle church in Antioch of Syria, from which the beginnings of missionary efforts by Paul and Barnabas were launched. It was not until Paul's second missionary efforts that he ventured outside the 1040 window. In the 1040 window, three major religious groups. According to AD 2000 and Beyond Movement, Islam at 1.1 billion spread across North Africa into the Middle East and South Asia. Hinduism at 1 billion, predominantly in India and Nepal, and Buddhism at 600 million, the primary religion of Southeast Asia. We also have the non-religious bloc, mainly in China. The majority of the world's least evangelized countries are found in the 1040 window. These are people with minimal knowledge of the gospel and no opportunity to respond to it. The spiritual battle over this region continues as Satan seeks to establish the stronghold of his government and prevent the people here from the transforming power of the gospel. The top 50 least evangelized mega cities that is, those with a population of more than 1 million are all situated in the 1040 window. According to AD 2000 and Beyond Movement, 82% of the poorest of the poor live in the 1040 window. There is a remarkable correlation between the poorest countries and those that are least evangelized. Should we Christians not concentrate our efforts in reaching the lost in the 1040 window? Should we not win for Christ? this biblical territory that is also home to God's people, the Jews? Though the 1040 window contains nearly 70% of the world's population, it only benefits from 8% of missionary efforts. This vast job of evangelizing the unreached is left to a few who often get burnt out and discouraged as they face the overwhelming task of reaching the lost. Less than one half of 1% of the church budget goes to evangelizing the 1040 window. 
The United States is currently the largest contributor to missions. This is the opportunity for us Africans, especially Nigerians, to expand our financial efforts beyond ourselves to reach the loss of the 1040 window. More Christians have been killed in the 20th century than in the past 19 centuries combined. The U.S. Center for World Missions estimates 66,000 unreached die each day. Who would go? The doors are closing to Western missionaries. We in Africa, primarily Nigeria, should be ready to fill this gap. God has prepared us for such a time as this. Nigeria is uniquely qualified and strategically positioned to reach the unreached with the gospel. What can I do? You can go as a missionary, you can pray, and you can support financially. The Mission Development Center is an independent mission organization with a vision to penetrate primarily the 1040 window with the gospel. Our short-term vision is to create mission awareness among Africans, primarily Nigerians. We have a monthly newsletter called Focus, which highlights countries and people groups in the 1040 window to hold mission conferences to highlight missionary efforts, progress and needs, to mobilize prayer support for missionaries, the unreached people groups and nations, to network with Nigerians in the diaspora and utilize them for missions. Our long-term vision is to recruit missionaries to go to the unreached, to build a world-class mission training and information center to train and equip missionaries, to provide logistical support for missionaries, to organize short and long-term mission trips. My name is Atim Basi, and I currently work among the Tamils of India. Who would go?